Viewer discretion is advised. What makes a televangelist? Is it the charisma that they possess to captivate listeners? Is it compelling words to ignite faith and fire in the hearts of God's elect? Or is it the anointing of God that makes a televangelist, a birthright orchestrated by God himself before the foundation of the world? Some say that a combination of those characteristics makes a true televangelist. Nevertheless, because of the impact of this figure, it is easy to say that the televangelist has become the face of American Christianity. Because of television broadcasting, they have even been able to reach the world to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to the entire planet. Televangelists such as Joyce Meyer, Creflo Dollar, Kenneth Copeland, T.D. Jakes, and Joel Osteen have broadcasted their programs for years. Yet, there is another that probably has the greatest impact of them all. His name is Benny Hinn. Tufik Benedictus Hinn, known as Benny Hinn, was born in 1952 in the port city of Jaffa, which is a part of Tel Aviv, Israel. He gave his life to Christ at a young age and became a minister of the gospel. His greatest inspiration toward his call to ministry was Catherine Coleman, one of the world's greatest evangelists. In the early 1970s, he would experience an encounter with the Holy Spirit in one of Catherine's meetings that would change the trajectory of his life forever. Give me your name, because you did not believe he could heal you. He is best known for his crusades that he holds all around the world, where he preaches, ushers in the presence of God through song, and most of all, he is known for his demonstrations of miracles, particularly miracles of healing. The way that Pastor Benny rules the power of God by waving his hands over people and they succumb to the anointing is a sight to see. It intrigues the slightest curiosity of how one man could possess so much power. Just as he was inspired by Catherine Kuhlman, Hinn himself has inspired others in a similar fashion. Evangelists such as Pastor Chris. Prophet Brian Kahn. Prophet Joshua Holmes and Prophet Manasseh Jordan have followed in the footsteps of Benny and are now known as the Church Avengers. Even though Benny is the leader, he isn't without controversy concerning the authenticity of his miracles. So the question is, are his healing miracles real or are they fake? Well, that is something I'll leave for you to decide.
Introducing Benihin, the original Church Avenger. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Hey guys, it's Live for Days. If you like the video, do me a favor and like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe, okay? Please comment, tell me what you want to see next, alright? Roll the credits.